try it out. You go first. <laughs> yeah, that was not that was not bad. I have DRS. DRS. Look, I'm putting my wings up. That doesn't look that great. Check it out. A paper plane, but uh, it actually tells us quite a bit about aerodynamics in Formula One, which is probably the single most important performance differentiator in the sport that the teams have control over. The aerodynamics of these cars borrows a lot from the aerospace industry. And as you can see on this paper plane, it has some little flap light devices uh, towards the rear. And in fact, we have a very similar device on the Formula One car. At the rear of the car, on the rear wing, we have this flap, which is under the control of the driver. And when this car gets within a second of the car in front, the driver can push a button in the cockpit and he can open this flap which reduces the drag generated by the rear wing on the car significantly to the point where it makes overtaking the car in front an awful lot easier. The way you use it is that you get a beep which tells you that you now you're allowed to activate it when you're within one second of the car in front and so then you wait until you get to the white line. When you get to the white line you can push the button that puts down your rear wing and gives you extra top speed to overtake the person in front. The DRS when you engage it is like a boost. It's like pressing curves. It's the same feeling as curves. So when you press curves, you get one boost, and then you press DRS, you get another one almost exactly the same. The issue of reducing drag on a Formula One car is very relevant to reducing drag on road cars to make them more fuel efficient. Equally, the aerodynamic stability of our cars has a direct relevance to the stability and safety of road cars. Can, you, can, much can you still see mine? Mine has gone so far, I can't even see it anymore. Okay, my turn, my turn. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty so, bad, actually. I was so sorry, man.